YouTube, how you guys doing? Welcome back. This is your boy Signosa with another how-to video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm watching you. You better do it now. And let me know how you guys and uh, like the video. So we had uh, my boy Jesus Dominguez and my boy Andre Saldivar. Hopefully you pronounced that correctly. Don't kill me. Um, they had uh, two comments here, basically requesting some help on how to how to set up their Go XLR. Uh, whether it be the mini or the regular one with OBS and some audio issues they were having I'm gonna cover that in this video So if you guys are a person that's trying to use this for streaming or or you think you're having any audio issues and stuff like that I'm gonna clarify all of that here everything else in terms of in-depth and how to route stuff Inside the go XLR app. I, I covered all of that in another video. I'm gonna leave those two links down below in the description um, But yeah to start off. All right, we have the desktop. Yes, I have the weekend uh halftime show wallpaper uh i like the performance i wish he could have sang more um you guys let me know which team you guys voted for was the buccaneers or the kansas city uh what team you guys went for and how you guys felt about the game um but without straying away from this without basically uh talking about this let's let's get like you know into the actual uh video so you guys do need the go xlr uh app right here as you guys can tell um I covered everything having to do with this application in uh, two previous videos, but um, this here, you guys can set up however you guys want. Me, I have it set up the simplest way for me, basically based on what the tabs are. The first one being the microphone. The second one is the chat tab, which is if I'm using Discord, TeamSpeak, or anything, um, it's set to that specific tab so I can control my teammates if they're talking too much, talking too loud. Um, I can lower them to hear the game, the footsteps, especially when I'm playing like a game like Warzone or something. Music, I have that tab set to like Spotify, Apple Music, um, and stuff like that. But you can set it to whatever. I'm, I'm going to go a little more in detail on how to route that properly in a second um, to show you guys how to do that properly and then system i have that set basically to my pc audio so everything that's on my chrome tab anything that goes on the desktop the game uh volume like for warzone valorant anything that i'm playing goes directly through system for me you guys can set this up differently it doesn't have to be like that you have four channels and you guys can set it up to anything that's right here on this mixer anything you can make the system tab even though it says system on the top it doesn't have to be system you can make a console you can make a game and stuff like that real quick andre uh, Sandoval, you were saying um, about you putting the the A50 base station on the other side of the chat uh, chat splitter. You want to make sure that you keep that on the chat side, on the other side, that the original side that I told you to, because if you have it on the other side, your teammates won't be able to hear you at all when you speak through your microphone here, your Go XLR, or any microphone that you're using. They're not going to be able to hear you in the console, stuff like that, if you put it on the other side. And another thing that you want to make sure is that the console side right here actually has volume because um just you bringing these knobs up if you don't have this on one of the tabs up here or if you don't want to use it on one of the tabs you can just go in here to mixer and increase the volume yourself if the console volume is not high or like it's set to zero and stuff like that you're not gonna be able to hear your teammates at all you're not gonna be able to hear your console you need to have this volume up to be able to hear your game uh through your headsets from your console at the same time while you hear everything else on your pc all right so that's it you don't really have to touch much of this uh the first thing you guys want to make sure that you guys do is that you go to settings you guys want to make sure you go to system and you guys want to go ahead to sound you want to make sure to go to sound control panel which is unrelated this is very important because this is how your pc is going to determine what its default devices are and what it's going to route audio to because if not your pc is going to start using everything that is connected to and you guys want to make sure that the proper devices are being used which in this case is just the go xlr mini the go xlr mini has multiple different sources which you're going to see all of them right here you want to make sure everything else is either disabled or not act or not plugged in uh, you're going to see chat ready game ready music ready sample ready and system for your playback device on your sound control you want to make sure that system is set to default device and you want to make sure that your recording device is set to broadcast stream mix as default device you're going to see why broadcast stream mix is being the default device is very important and then everything else should be ready, which is like chat mic, sample, and uh, stuff like that. Now, you want to go back. The output, you want that to be set to system. Oh, sorry. you want that to be set to system right here. Um, basically, all the audio from your PC and stuff like that is going to go there. Not 
Discord or like TeamSpeak in that because that you guys are routing it specifically to a chat tab, which I'm going to show you guys now what I mean by that. And then you guys want to make sure that your input device again is broadcast stream mix. And you guys are going to see why that comes into play in a second uh, when you get into OBS. After you guys have that set, you want to make sure that you guys go into what's called advanced sound options. This is very important right here. This is where you're going to get a little bit into the nit and gritties of the mixer uh, because of the way that windows and their PCs operate and work together. So if you go and you play something, let's say I'm gonna play something on Spotify. Uh, this music that you hear here is from stream beats uh, by Harris Heller, uh, free music for streamers, content creators. If you guys want to use that music, you can, it's copyright free. Um, there's a license on his discord as well. I will leave uh, a link below to stream beats. If you guys want to check that out and they also have stream beats original, really great guy doing some great stuff in the industry. So I'm going to play some music here so that I can show up. You guys have to play some music or whatever you're trying to do so it can show up here. These are basically currently what things are playing audio through your PC. So what you want to do here, um, this is where you get to route. Like basically, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to show you what the, the difference right here. So if you have like an app like Discord, for example, and you guys are use, you're using that to chat. I use Discord a lot to chat with my teammates when I'm playing any type of games on the PC. You want to go to user settings. You go to voice and video. And for example, my input device will be chat and my output device will be chat. Why is it chat? Um, it is because there, anything that I, my teammates say, I can control their volume individually on the chat tab. That's the volume for me to be able to hear them. And then they can hear me when I'm talking to them. That's why you put it to chat. Um, you don't put it to broadcast remix. You put it to chat. And then that is said there. So now apps that don't use this. For example, Spotify doesn't have that native setting built into it like Discord has it where you can change the input and output. It doesn't have that native setting in there at all. When you go in here, um, all you could do is play audio. There's no way for you to control it. It doesn't matter where you go in the settings. And that's where advanced comes into play. When you go in here, you guys are going to have two options for every single app that you see here. For example, in Spotify, you want to make sure that you set that to music. And then the second one to broadcast stream mix on all of them, whichever one you're setting up, you set the second one to broadcast stream mix. And the first one, you set it to wherever you're routing it on here. If you want this to be on the chat tab, you put that on the, the music on the chat tab. If you want it to be on the music tab, how I have it, you put it on the music tab. As you can tell, since I already have that set up, once you set it up once, you don't really have to be doing it unless you reset your computer. I have Spotify, iTunes and stuff like that set to my music tab. So as you guys can tell, if I raise the music tab, you will hear the music. And I can control that individually there so I can have my game it basically gives you full control of your audio and you can do this with everything. If you want to set your Google Chrome tab to be on system, you can go ahead and like, for example, let me play something. Nick Merckx. I love YouTube, Nick Merckx. What's going on? Today, YouTube. Man, what's going on? What's going on YouTube today? Video, and today's YouTube video. You already know. The oh, reliable. I love this guy, man. You see, it's going to show up there once I play an audio source. I can set that up to system or anything I want on the mixer anything any of the four tabs that you see on the mixer i can set it up and then the second one to broadcast stream mix and that's basically it that goes you use this basically for any you use advanced for any app that doesn't have the native built-in option like i showed you in discord a lot of apps nowadays do have this option for you to change input and output inside and also you would do you would do that um and in games already have the in-game chat they have the option like if you go to cold war it gives you the option to choose which input device and stuff like that what you would do chat anything speaking and hearing your teammates you you want to keep that on chat that's what you would use the advanced tab for now going from here uh once you set that up you can close that out you go please go down here and make sure that this volume right here you want to make sure please this is on system um so that you're able to hear everything through your headset from your computer and now to get into obs real quick uh to show you guys this right here um let me okay if this computer wants to drag the thing over i know it's being stupid boom all right so this is the one thing that a lot of people don't tell you when you start using obs you're gonna see uh basically right here in the mixer you're gonna see like a crap ton of audio devices everything that's on your computer basically uh logitech webcam if you're using that or whatever ca uh, camera you're using uh whatever other microphones you're using your monitor and stuff like that all of that's gonna show up there and if you if you if this is not basically disabled 
you got this is where you guys experiencing that echoing that you're talking about jesus dominguez uh and andre sandoval you you experience a lot of like echoing uh, your teammates will hear themselves the stream will hear you like twice or three times the music will overlap and it just gets confusing because audio can be crazy but audio is not as hard as people make it seem uh but but it also is annoying don't get me wrong so the only thing you guys want to do very simple you guys want to go to setting you guys want to go to where it says audio um you want basically want to disable everything uh desktop audio audio 2 audio 2 mic um audio 3 mic and auxiliary audio 4 mic on um, these right here you set up on if you have like additional stuff but f you're mixing i'm mixing everything through my go xlr mixer I don't, I don't really need other devices this basically made my life super simple uh thanks to tc helicon i'll leave the link to the go xlr on the bottom um so you guys can go ahead and take it um it's gonna be a referral link for me so i i do make a small commission if you guys do um buy it because it's a u.s amazon affiliate link so if you guys want to go buy that um you guys would be supporting and also getting something for yourself but basically the first one that says mic auxiliary audio you want to set that to broadcast stream mix and this is where i was talking about what this is going to do once you apply that you hit okay and you disable everything else your audio mixer is going to look like this it's just going to have one thing so as you guys can tell real quick i'm going to stop talking and i'm going to play the music so you guys can see that the bar is still going to continue moving everything is going through there and my chat everything will go through there so basically what broadcast stream mix is self-explanatory it's in the name broadcast stream mix it's basically grabbing all your audio source or sources from the goxlr mini so anything you have routed in here um i'm not here sorry in here in the mixer period anything you have routed here it's basically taking all of that audio and making it one audio source for your stream into the broadcast stream mix so you'll still be able to individually control um you, you'll still be able to individually control like all the tabs here but basically what it'll do is that it will take all those audios and put it into one and it will prevent all of that echoing all of the audio issues that happen when you're streaming so now you won't have all those issues where everybody's hearing you a million times that's why i said broadcast stream mix is very very important and the reason why we set that input device in the settings uh to broadcast stream mix and everything i was telling you in the advanced tab has to be the second option has to be broadcast stream mix so i can grab that audio and throw it into broadcast stream mix into one source so it's going to route everything you have in the mixer everything that's going through your mixer everything console audio the computer audio music chat everything and it's going to make it one source for your obs and it's going to prevent all the echoing and it's going to make everything nice simple and sexy that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much it nothing else more difficult than that we already covered everything as a quick relapse you're going to go to settings you're going to go ahead and go to sound make sure that these output and input settings are correct that your sound control settings are correct adjust the advanced options on sounds accordingly to what you guys are trying to do and then make sure that down here um this is set to system uh or you know so you can hear it through your headset and on obs make sure that you go to settings you disable all your audio settings unless you have one that you need specifically for something and switch everything to that one source on mic auxiliary audio the first one put broadcast stream mix and this should be able to fix all of your issues um there's not really much anything else if i made this confusing whatever you're still confused you're having issues let me know and i will make another separate video on this to help you guys better adjust this and fix any issues you guys have um i'll do another video explaining going more in depth on a on simple terms um but yeah hopefully this, this video did help you guys if you guys do enjoy once again don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe and you know without further ado guys thank you guys for watching the video signosa we'll see you guys on the next video peace out <laughs>